What is up everyone? Welcome back to another What's Sold video and let's, you know, take a ride with me. I am absolutely late for work right now, but you know what? It's fine. It is currently 4.15 in the morning on June 3rd, 2021. Today, I'm going to show you, I think it's about 29 things that sold for me over the past two or so weeks. I will not be able to finish it on this one ride, so it's going to be a nighttime and a daytime video. So I hope you enjoy. So the first thing that sold for me was this Abeo Pro Aerial System Vibram Soul Shoes. These sold for $60 with free shipping. These went at a right under two, uh, three uh, pound rate. So luckily the buyer was near me, so it did not cost that much. I bubble wrap these and I put them in the poly bag so they can stay right under that three, uh, two pound, uh, three pound rate. Uh, next thing were these Brooks Men Glycerian 14 Athletic Shoes. These sold for $45 with free shipping. I don't exactly remember uh, how I packed these. Probably just in the regular shoe box. You know, better than nothing. So, yeah, that was another good sale. I think I picked these up for about $7. And they sold for $45, which was a great, great profit. Next thing that sold were these Vinland Vines Performance Shorts. They sold for $35 with free shipping. Like I said, I've been trying to get rid of some of my clothing. So, this was a good uh, sale right after I sent out offers. Uh, to watchers and luckily this buyer accepted and yeah that was another great profit because I believe I picked these up for about five bucks so yeah that was great right there next thing that sold for me were these pair of ASICS gel Kayano 21 women's athletic shoes these sold for $30 with free shipping and these I ended up getting during the Goodwill $1 sale and these were definitely not in the best condition so I did price them lower than the other ones um, so as I said it cost me only a dollar it sold for $30 in the end that was an awesome profit because these were light enough and again luckily it was someone around my area so it only cost me seven dollars or eight dollars to ship out I believe so that was awesome Next thing that sold for me, which was another good sale, were these was this uh, X Element motorcycle 4XL leather vest. This sold for eighty dollars with free shipping. And once again, I was lucky with this one that it was going to someone near my area. Uh, and it sold for eighty dollars with, with uh, free shipping. And it only cost me. Actually, no, I am so sorry about that. I actually put it in a padded flat rate envelope. And it cost me $7.76 to ship out. Either way, that was awesome. I did pay up for this. It was, I believe it was uh, $15. And even though I did this sit in it in a while, unfortunately I got it when the pandemic hit. So, you know, not too many riders. Well, you know, some riders going out, but not as much. And either way, it was a good profit. Next thing that sold for me were these pair of Adidas waterproof uh, spikeless golf shoes. I've had this particular pair for quite a while, but somebody sent me an offer for $40, and I accepted, uh, was it 40 No, I'm sorry, it was $45. <laughs> uh, these did go in the padded flat rate envelope, and it did cost me $7.76. So all in all, even though I did sit on them for a while, again, I got this particular pair right when the pandemic started, so I did sit on them for a while. But in the end, you know, with everything opening up again, uh, golf seems to be coming back as well, so awesome. You know, I have a couple more golf shoes I got a list, but they have been selling pretty well for me. Next thing that I saw were the Sketcher Sketch Knit Burst Divergent shoes. These were women's, and they sold for $45 with free shipping. And these as well just went in a regular, uh, what, a regular USPS shoebox that I get for free on the USPS website and it cost me about ten dollars to ship out I believe give or take and I paid five dollars for this particular pair and either way still a great profit and I think I had these for about a month so 
longer than what I like, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Next thing were these pair of Brooks Beast 14. These sold for $60 with free shipping. Uh, these were pretty, no, they weren't that heavy, but either way, uh, these went just in a regular priority mail shoe box. And even though the buyer messaged me saying that, oh, I never got, uh, got the, the, the shoes, that he was home all day and it was never delivered. If that ever happens to you guys, you, all you gotta do is respond. You, you do have to respond because if you don't respond, that could be a big problem. All you really gotta do is, you know, uh, uh, you gotta tell them to check with their neighbors, look around their property, or um, go to their post office and see what's going on because they want you as a, as a seller to do everything. But as the sellers, we can't do anything about it once it's out of our control. So that's what I responded with and I haven't heard since. So um, either way, that was still a good sale. I believe I got this during half half off day, so I think I paid like about four bucks for these. So that was another great sale, you know. Look at that. <laughs> Next thing that sold were these pair of what are these? A6 Gel Excite Six. These sold for thirty-seven dollars with free shipping. These went in a padded flat rate envelope and it cost me $7.76 to ship out. Um, it's okay to ship shoes out in a padded flat rate envelope. You just have to know which sizes do fit and don't fit. Normally it's, um, what is it? Hello, cop. Normally it's usually between, well, you know, most of the kids' sizes fit. Women, I believe it's up to a size i've gotten a, up to a size nine in there but of course it's very stretching it some of them were able to fit in there but eight and a half eight seven they can definitely fit in there you just have to make sure which sizes fit and yeah you'll be fine uh, maybe one day i'll show you how exactly how i ship uh, shoes to fit in the poly bag and yeah so there you go with that one uh. next thing that sold were these pair of ASICS Gel Cayano 20th Anniversary uh, shoes. These sold for $60 with free shipping. Now, I did do my research with this, and this was the going uh, price for these shoes. As soon as I listed them up, someone lowballed me, offered me $20. I declined. They offered $40. I declined again. And then they offered $45. I declined again. And then they messaged me saying, I got I got a 55 I can pay right now and I responded I said I literally just listed these 10 minutes ago 60 is the lowest I can accept and then I sent out that last offer and they accepted so I don't know did I you guys let me know in the comments below did I low ball uh, did I price them low did I price them right and at the right when uh, they were looking for these mines came up let me know in the comments below I don't know <laughs> So um, let me head on over to daytime and we'll continue it off. And now that is daytime and yeah, anyways. Uh, so the next thing that I sold were these pair of Brooks Reveal Gray Athletic Shoes. These sold for $30 with free shipping. And these, they did have a flaw on the heel area where it was basically like just torn apart or ripped. So you can tell that it was uh, not in great condition, but either way, still sold for $20, and yeah, great, great. Oh, and the buyer paid $17.20 in shipping, so either way, it was still a good sale. Ooh. Hope everyone's all right. Next thing that I sold were these New Balance Fresh From uh, Zante Athletic Shoes. These sold for $30 with free shipping. And I did have these for a good while, so um, I believe somebody sent me that offer and I accepted and I was pretty much happy with it because I did have them for a while. Now we head on over to my Macari sales. And there's a funny story with this one actually. Um, give me a minute. Next thing that sold was this Adidas TR5 Trail Running Shoes. These sold for $33 with free shipping and these were, were uh, somebody actually sent me an offer on these and I did accept that offer and um, and what ended up happening was that the buyer ended up return uh, opening up a 
return case because they thought that these were a size 8 and these were actually a size 10. Now I believe with these the first size that we're used to here in the states is that um, it shows the US size but in these it actually showed the UK size so the UK was size 8 but the US was size 10. So I I mean, I, I don't know if I feel if it was bad or not. Please tell me in the comments below. I did say to Makari that, hey, um, I never advertised this as a size 8. It was a size 10, as it says clearly right there, which you can see in the picture that I post as well. And they denied the return. So let me know. Was it the right thing, the wrong thing? I mean, I didn't do anything wrong in my part. So please, just let me know. Next thing that sold were these Columbia Tech Light sandals. These sold for $22 with free shipping. I actually got these for myself, but they did not fit. So um, I ended up posting, um, posting them up. I was not expecting to get much for these because, well, they weren't exactly in the best condition either. But either way, they still ended up selling even though the shipping was pretty high on these. They still sold for a decent amount. I at least got my money back or I broke even. I didn't lose any money. Next thing was the Skechers Go Walk 4 Gogo Max Women's Slip On Shoes. These sold for $32 with free shipping. This was accepted on the best offer. And um, I believe the only flaw with this was that there was a tiny little hole on the side. And that was because the thrift store that I went to decided to punch a hole right in there just to put the pricing tag. So there was nothing I could do about it. I did point that out on the listing and either way, it was great. And the other awesome thing was the fact that these did go at a first class rate because they were extremely light. So that was awesome. Next thing that sold was this pair of Bionic Venture Women's Orthopedic Sneakers. These sold for $45 with free shipping, of course, on the best offer. And I believe I used a Macari label for this one, so it cost me $12. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I actually put this in the padded flat rate envelope and I used Pirate Ship. That's what I do uh, with my Macari or any other uh, shipping that I do that I don't want to use a platform's label. But either way, I got these, I believe, for about $5, and I sold for $45. Still a great profit, about $20 profit. Still awesome. Next were these Dasco's Women's Charlie size 7.5 uh, casual sneakers. They sold for $39 with free shipping. And these were, I believe, these were near me, so they just went in a regular shoe box. And yeah, so just regular priority cost me $8. Again, I used uh, Pirate Ship. I did not use Macari's label because in some instances, Macari's label is just not worth it because it's a lot. Next were these pair of Keen women uh, sneakers. They were just like your casual little sneakers. They sold for $32 plus $12 shipping. I did use Macari's label on this one. And the funny story about these Keens were that I, uh, I actually picked them up uh, on the whim because they were all the way in the back. They were a little pricey. They were about eight bucks, I believe. But I was like, you know what? I got them. They're Keens. They're good bread and butter. And then as soon as I posted up, it got a lot of interest, like really fast. So I'm like, oh, wow, that's great. And uh, ended up selling about, um, I believe a week later. So that was still a very good pickup, even though it was on a whim. Now we head over to my Poshmark sales. My first Poshmark sale was this uh, pair of Under Armour HOVR uh, basketball shoes. These sold for $60. Uh, I believe it was with free shipping. Uh, these were retail arbitrage, so they, I did pay up for them. Unfortunately, I paid up too much. So I only made about a $10 profit on this, even with the free shipping. Either way, it was still fine. Live and learn. That's just part of the game. Next were these pair of Merrell's hiking shoes. Uh, I forgot. Uh, I forgot the model, but these sold for forty dollars. And this one, uh, the buyer paid shipping. Uh, yeah, buyer paid shipping. Uh, and yeah, it was a great sale. I think I I usually pick these up for about between six to nine dollars. It really depends on how many I get and all that good jazz. But um. 
Make it better. We are going way too slow. But yeah, I picked these up and yeah, they again, since we're in hiking season right now with the summer and all that, these are a great time to be uh, posting up hiking shoes and trust me, I still got a lot more. Next were these pair of Brooks Ghost, I believe these were the 12s or 6, I forgot. But they sold for $65 with free shipping. Uh, these got a lot of interest as well, I'm assuming it's because of the colorway and all that stuff. These did have some uh, scrapes on the back heel areas, but either, other than that, everything else was great. Uh, it got it got a lot of interest. I'm noticing that with the Brooks, it's usually the Ghost, the Adrenaline, and sometimes the GTS that get me some great uh, some great sales. The other ones, I have a bit of a uh, trouble sometimes. But this was still a great sell in the end. Next were these pair of Hoka One One's. Uh, Athletic shoes. These sold for $65 plus shipping. The buyer paid shipping on this, so they were in about $72. And of course, Hoka, amazing brand. Yeah, it's, uh, if you see them, it's good to pick them up. Of course, do all the the, the bend test and all the tests for shoes. But Hoka's are always a good pickup. Uh, just gotta price them right, of course. Next was this Peter Millar. I believe this was the. Summer Comfort? No, it was some kind of version. But it sold for $20 plus shipping. I thought I had free shipping on this, but apparently I didn't. Somebody sent me an offer for $20 and I accepted. And yeah, I've had this for a while. I'm trying to get rid of my clothing. And yeah, that was another great sale. Now we head on over to my Facebook sales. The first thing that sold were these pair of A6 Gel Nusa Tri 8 Women's Size 8. These sold for $45 with free shipping. These basically sold within 10 minutes of me listing this. A message lady, uh, a lady uh, messaged me first on eBay, and then on Macari, and then finally on Facebook. And um, I'm pretty sure it was the same uh, person. And uh, yeah, they ended up buying it really straight away. So that was uh, another great sale right there. I picked these up for five dollars, and yeah, they sold pretty much immediately. And that's exactly what you want. These try uh, these uh, Nusa, these tries. If you see them, pick them up. If, if they're in great condition, they usually sell for around 40, 45, 50 around there. Next, that next thing that sold were these pair of of a uh, Keen Voyager women's uh, size seven hiking uh, boots. These sold for sixty-five dollars plus shipping. The no, no, free shipping. I'm sorry. And uh, I ended up putting these in a pattern flat rate envelope. And yeah, that was another great sale. I had these up for maybe about a week and it ended up selling in a good amount of time. So that was still another great sale right there. Next next thing that sold on Facebook, which actually surprised me as well, were these pair of New Balance 680 V2 athletic shoes. These sold for $40 with free shipping. And within three minutes of me listing this, I got the notification, sold. I'm like, oh wow, that is awesome. These were in very good condition with very little signs of wear and yeah. If you're noticing the, the background, the pictures as well, I am trying different backgrounds to see what's better and so far me not using the white background is somewhat helping a lot so I don't know, I might change it up a bit using some you know natural scenery or that kind of stuff. Next thing I saw for me on Facebook were these, uh, another pair of Under Armour HOV uh, high top uh, athletic shoes. These sold for $50 plus shipping. Again, with this one, I uh, no, it's about the same. Again, I overpaid for these, and you know, lesson learned. I, I got my money back, you know, plus a little bit of profit. But in the end, you know, still great sale. All right, guys. So those were 29 things that I ended up selling on the marketplaces that I currently sell on. Uh, some of these, as you saw, were mostly shoes. But you know what? That's what I'm starting to try to do now. I'm gonna be mixing in some hard goods in there as well. But um, if you enjoy this kind of content, please let me know if I'm doing it right. If you like these kinds of what sold videos, you know, with me riding around and all that kind of stuff, tell, please tell me in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I respond as soon as I get the notification if I am not busy, of course. Until next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.